If there was ever an event that celebrates the biking brotherhood, it has to be the Royal Enfield Rider Mania, a three-day weekender that has everything to offer a motorcycling festival can. The 2022 edition of the Rider Mania saw a massive contingent of Royal Enfield enthusiasts. Make their way to Goa and take part in the revelry. Music, motorcycle, and mayhem. We are here at the 2022 edition of the Royal Enfield Rider Mania. Over the course of a weekend, 12,000 and more participants are expected, and there's so much to do. Meet motorcycles, meet riding gear, meet delicious lip-smacking food. There's so much. For everybody here at Rider Mania, so let's check the festival out. The biggest highlight, of course, was the India debut of the Royal Enfield Super Meteor 650. It was brought onto the stage by Siddharth Lal, MD and CEO Aisha Motors, along with B Govind Rajan, CEO Royal Enfield. The third 650 cc model from Ari, the Super Meteor, is the most tech-laden motorcycle from the company ever. We already have a detailed video on the bike on our YouTube channel, so do go and check that out. The best part is that bookings for the Super Meteor 650 were made open for the participants at Rider Mania. The other highlight were the much talked about 1s to 3 scale models, and that we simply had to check out and know more about. What you see here are 1s to 3 scale models of the Royal Enfield Classic 350 and the Classic 500. Yes, motorcycles from the past. And these models, the attention to detail is absolutely immaculate. It's almost as if these motorcycles have been shrunk from the original size. And the best part is, all these motorcycles gets working parts. So yes, the clutch works, the brake works, the suspension works. It's absolutely fabulous. And yes. These motorcycle scale models are very, very expensive at sixty-eight thousand rupees per piece. These are limited edition models, and they will be available at a Royal Enfield showroom near you very, very soon. So let's get to know these scale models a little better, and we'll have a quick conversation with Puneet Sood, who is the head of apparel business Royal Enfield, and Shiva Kumar, who is the head of industrial design. Well, I think one of the key uh, bit about everything that we do at Royal Enfield is to keep it absolutely authentic, and that's what when we went, uh, when we wanted to make a one s to three scale model, the intent was to keep it very, very real and authentic. Uh, we ensured that everything was to scale, uh, and and I'll let Siva talk a, a little bit more about it. But the intent was to ensure that it's as close, as authentic uh, as possible to the real motorcycle. What's going on in? Lot of, lot of, lot of energy, passion, and a uh, lot of fun factors also. And um, it, it's not just a scale model. It's actually a miniature art which replicates the uh, real vehicle in a different size factor, which is a one is to three, one third of the scale. Otherwise, it exactly carries the same, a similar material, uh, a similar uh, volume in it. And uh, the way it is getting made is also similar. Uh, say, for example, if you take the frame, the frame does have a, as same as simi- um, uh, as same child parts in it, which is welded to the main frame. And if you take the rear suspension, it's having a pre-adjuster shocker, which works. And if you de- and uh, the mm, swing arm, which does have the chain adjuster with the sprocket, the wheel does have the sprocket with the chain, and it rolls. And the wheel does have a proper hub um, laced to a rim with 40 spokes and nipples. And if you take the front, it's a proper steerable front with a headlamp nacelle in it and uh, uh, working brake levers and clutch levers. It will be very interesting and fun to really see how that works. And it's all connected to a proper a cable, which makes the functions very interesting. Along with motorcycles, the festival had some lovely musical performances with bands and solo artists like Divine, Swaratma, Thakudam Bridge, the Peter Cat Recording Company, and many, many more. 
it was interesting to see the crowd dance and rev it to the foot tapping music on all three days and then there was the royal enfield slide school where enthusiasts were taught how to slide the ft411 flat track himalayan under expert guidance then there were dirt races organized for different classes on a small but technical dirt track there were winners and losers but most of all there was a lot of enjoyment now let's give you a quick glimpse of the royal enfield motorverse so this is what royal enfield calls the motorverse there's so much to do and there's something for everybody yes all the royal enfield motorcycles are on display there are beautiful gorgeous custom motorcycles that are kept there as well plus you have a skateboard park you have helmet painting t-shirt painting and of course there's a lot of food and drink available as well so let's check the motorverse out and make the most of this and if you're in the mood to grab a quick bite we are here at the royal enfield garage cafe to check out some delicious barbecued goodies Yes, you'll get briskets, you'll get pork chops and what not. So come, let's grab a quick bite. The 2022 edition of Rider Mania also had a series of lectures and sessions on various motorcycling topics such as motor journalism, Dakar rally, filmmaking, photography and much more. All in all, It was a weekend packed with lots of fun and learning at the same time. The Rider Mania weekend was everything it promised. Like-minded motorcycle enthusiasts, great shopping options, brilliant food, dirt races, excellent music and a lively crowd that made the weekend all the more enjoyable. Now, all that is left is to wait for the next year's Rider Mania. 